Pops. For this lollipop, you have to twirl it on the stick. Oh man, I wish this was real. It looks really good. We're not over yet. It's time to wash down all those sweet treats with some cold treats. This is where you can put the ice cream cones. Just pull down like this. Let me stack up all the cones. What I like about this set is that you could pull one cone each time. If multiple cones were to come out, it would have been pretty messy. We could put our Sunday cups right here. And this is the ice cream mold. We're gonna need two colors, so I'll use orange on one side. And purple on the other. I'm craving an ice cream cone first. Whoa, that's so cool! I can't tell if this is Play-Doh, or if it's real ice cream. Now let's head over to the sprinkle station. Oh, it looks like all the sprinkles missed the ice cream, but it's okay. And we're done! Here's an orange grape ice cream flavor with some mint chips on top. Time to make some more ice cream! I'll use green and white. For this one, we'll go with the Sunday Bowl. Here's our delicious mint vanilla ice cream. Can't forget the spoon.
the base of the set also has a bunch of toppings we can create. Here's a graham cracker teddy bear. A croissant. I'll use a gumball to make another teddy bear. This one actually looks a lot better. We made a lot of candy and a lot of ice cream today. I hope you guys had fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney Toys here. And today we're gonna do another DIY Play Doh activity. I'll be showing you guys how to make a realistic burger. It's super easy, so grab your Play Doh if you want to follow along. We'll need white, black, green, light brown, red, yellow, and dark brown. We'll also need a Play-Doh knife, three different size cookie cutters, and a rolling pin. The first thing I'll make is the buns. We'll roll out some light brown Play-Doh. And use our largest cutter to cut out a circle. This will be part of our top bun. And now we need to roll a thinner layer of the light brown Play-Doh. We'll bring back the first piece and add a little circle in the middle. And we'll use the thinner layer to cover it on top. This is what's going to give it the round shape. We'll make sure the ends are nice and sealed. And here's our top bun. And I don't know about you guys, but I like my buns with some sesame seeds. So we'll take some white Play-Doh and brown Play-Doh to mix it together, creating tan Play-Doh. Now I'm going to mold the Play-Doh into the shape of a seed, which is basically kind of like a raindrop. We're going to need quite a few of these. Once we've made enough sesame seeds, we can start putting them on our bun. Yum! And here's our first bun! Now let's make the bottom bun. We roll out some more light brown Play-Doh. And again we'll use the largest cutter. And here's our bottom bun. Now we'll make the patty using some dark brown Play-Doh. I'm basically just going to shape it with my hands by pressing it down. The ends don't have to be perfectly round, it's actually preferred that it's not so it looks more like a hamburger patty. Next we'll make the lettuce using some green Play-Doh. I'm just going to roll this nice and flat. And then I'll cut it in half creating two leaves of lettuce. I'm going to scrunch it together so it looks more realistic. Here's our two leaves of lettuce. Now some yellow for the cheese. I'm gonna cut out two squares for the cheese slices. And to make it look even more realistic, I'm going to cut out some holes.
We'll do two half circles on the side and a full circle in the middle. And here's our first slice of cheese. We'll do the same thing for the second one. Next, we'll use some red for the tomatoes. I'll cut out two circles using our medium-sized cutter. I'll set these aside for now while I make the detailing in the middle. And to do that, I'm going to combine red and white Play-Doh to create a lighter shade. Next, I'll roll it out and then use the smallest cutter to cut two circles. This is going to be the inside of our tomato. I'm going to cut this into four pieces. And then I'm going to lay it right on top of the red. We'll do the same thing for the other slice. And then I'll add the little tomato seeds using some yellow Play-Doh. Next, I'll make some onions using some white Play-Doh. I'll use our medium-sized cutter to cut out two circles. And then I'll freehand cut another circle inside of it, so we just get a thin onion ring. We do the same thing for the second one. And here's our two finished onion rings. Let's start assembling our burger. We have our bottom bun, lettuce, cheese, our patty, more cheese and more lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and we'll top it off with our sesame bun. Mmm, mmm, doesn't this look delicious? If you guys want me to do more DIY Play-Doh videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Colorful Cookies. We'll be making all types today from hearts to animals, so let's see how colorful we can make them. The back of the box shows all the cool things we could do. Let's open it up! Arrgh. That one didn't want to leave the box. I'll show you all the accessories first. We can make four animal cookies a giraffe, cow, alligator, and a dolphin. And we can make a heart, star, circle, or square shaped cookie too. And we even get this cool roller. This set comes with three cans of Play-Doh. We get a blue color, a brown color, and an orange color. Let's see, I'll start with this square shape first. It's a plain square cookie now, but let's see how it turns out after we decorate it. I'll add some orange.
Hey, look! I didn't mean to, but our orange frosting turned into a backward S. I'll color up the cookie some more with this glue play though. These can be blue sprinkles. Whoops! Now it kind of looks like a face. But not anymore. Oh, this blue play is giving me some problems. But no worries, our beautiful square cookie's finished. What do you think? Now I'll use some more of this orange play-doh to make our first animal cookie. I think I'll go with the dolphin. Give it some eyes and a smile. And here's our dolphin cookie. Hmm, which cookie should I make next? I'll go with the heart. For this one, I'll add some orange frosting. Mmm, yum! This heart cookie turned out well. Alright, I'll make one more animal cookie. I think a cow will be pretty cool. I'll give this one some eyes and a smile too. And we can't forget the dots. Here's our malicious cookie. I had a lot of fun with this set. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're gonna get pretty creative. We'll be making our very own Play-Doh Colorful Swirl Tie-Dye Lollipops. Who's ready to have some fun? Here's our first tie-dye color, our second color, our third color, and this is the fourth color. I'll be using this extruder today. If you guys watched the Candy Cyclone video, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with how this works. Ooh, look at that pretty color! I'll name this one Vanilla Lime Peach Swirl. Remember, let me know if you guys come up with better names. Let's move on to the next lollipop.
I'll call this one Orange Ape Twirl. I'll name this one Cotton Candy Sprinkles. Out of all the Play-Doh colors, this one was my favorite. What about you guys? This one I'll name Pastel Rainbow Twist. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play Doh Cookout Creations. We'll be making some of our favorite barbecue party foods today. Yummy! Let's take everything out of the box. Here are the instructions. We get some molds to make the ingredients for the barbecue. We get this really cool hamburger bun. On one side we get a cheese mold and on the other side we can make a hamburger patty. Here's a hot dog bun. And on the bottom we can make a sausage. Here's a mini extruder. We get a knife and a spatula. We get some tools for the extruder and a pair of scissors. Here's another extruder shaped like a bottle. Here's a mold to make a steak and a chicken leg. We get five cans of Play-Doh, orange, green, dark brown, yellow, and red. Now let's check out our awesome grill. Here are some more molds to make ingredients. This is the grill top. It looks like we could even make some skewers. We can use this for the skewers. Just rotate it like this. Alright, I think our grill's all set up now. Whoa, this set is pretty crazy. Look at all the items we have. I can't wait to get started. Let's start with these awesome hamburger buns. I'll use this brown play-doh for the hamburger patty.
Nice! Here's our juicy patty. I'll use the yellow Play-Doh for the cheese. Time to make a cheeseburger! I'll put the patty on the grill! And don't forget to put the cheese on top! You have to make sure it melts nicely! While we wait for that to cook, let's make some more ingredients! Here's a green lettuce. I'll make another one. Hot, hot, hot! Woo! The hamburger patty's hot! This cheese was so thick it didn't melt. And here's an extra cheesy cheeseburger! Yummy! Time to make some more food! I'll use the extruder on the grill! Can you guys guess what I'm making with this red Play-Doh? If you guessed hot dog, you're correct! We'll need some pickles. Tasty! And I'll top it off with some mustard! Mmm! This looks good too! I'm craving for some skewers! Here's a delicious shrimp, onion, and mushroom skewer. We'll put this right here to cook some more. Be sure to rotate it so that it cooks evenly on all sides. Mmm, my mouth is watering! We can't have a barbecue and not make steak! Here's a juicy T-bone! I'll put that on the grill. I'm getting hungry! This smells really good! 
We have a few more guests, so let's make some more hamburger patties. I made another fatty piece of cheese. Here's a freshly toasted sesame bun. We'll need one more bun for the bottom. This is more like a slider. Here are some tomatoes. And more lettuce. Now that we're all done cooking, it's time to eat! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter! The links are in the description box below! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Crazy Cuts. With this set, we'll be able to grow, cut, and create some unique hairstyles. Here's a mold to make a mohawk. This looks like a bunny bun hairstyle. Here's one of the characters we can work with. We get some cool accessories. Here are the clippers. Scissors. And a shaving blade. Here's a female character and another male character. We get a can of orange Play-Doh, purple Play-Doh, green Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh, and some more orange Play-Doh. Let me just assemble the salon chair. And we're open for business. Welcome to the Crazy Cut Salon. I wonder who our first customer is. We'll call him Timmy. He wants blue hair. Before we place Timmy on the chair, let's roll it all the way down. Slide him into the chair and turn the handle forward. Whoa, look at his hair grow! 
Timmy's got a unique style. I don't think I could pull off long blue hair. Oh, he wants it trimmed just a little bit. Well, it looks like Timmy wants to change his hair color. We'll have to use the clippers to shave his hair off. He wants to mix the blue with a little bit of orange. That's even more unique. All right, let's see how it turns out. This is pretty cool. How do you guys like this hairstyle? If you look on the chair, there are a few accessories you can make. Here's a green baseball cap. We'll put this on Timmy. He looks so stylish. The base of the set also has a few things you can make. Like this blue mustache. We'll give the mustache to this guy. I think I'll call him Steve. Are you sure you want that hairstyle? Okay, Steve wants a purple mohawk. That's pretty bold. He also looks like a Spartan. Let's welcome our first female customer. This is Brittany. She wants to get the red bunny bun hairstyle. Good choice. If the hair buns were a little lower, it would be a Princess Leia hairstyle. How do you guys like Britney's new hairdo? Doesn't she look radiant? Let's see what else we could make. Here's a purple dress. Golden braids. And an orange bow tie. Let's put all the new items onto Brittany. I think one more bow will look nice. Isn't she pretty? Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey, everyone. Awesome Disney toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you Play-Doh Cupcake Celebration. Look at all this fun stuff we can make.
Here's the back of the box. I can't wait to put our Ferris wheel together. Let's start by opening the box. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. And there's still more. Let's get it all out of there. Here are the instructions. It shows us exactly how to put our Ferris wheel together. Here's our Ferris wheel stand. It also has a bunch of molds on it. Ooh, a cookie press. And it's so cute that it's a little tent. I can't wait to make a bunch of cookies. Here's our sprinkle maker. Here's a bag of accessories. Here's another bag. Here's the base of our playset. It has a bunch of molds on it. That's one of my favorite things about this playset. There's so many options, you'll never get bored. Yay, here's our Ferris wheel. It has a bunch of animal molds on it. How many of you guys have been on a Ferris wheel before? It's pretty high up, isn't it? And here's our bag of Play-Doh. This set comes with five cans, and three of them are Play-Doh Plus. Let's take a closer look at this bag of accessories. Here's a scooper spoon, a fork, an extruder. Here's our extruder holder. This is to hold our sprinkle maker. Let's open this one next. Here's a plate. Ooh, look how colorful this is. One rolling pin. And here are our cupcake holders. It comes in pink, red, blue, green, and yellow. These are for our cupcakes. It comes in yellow, red, blue, green, and pink. Let's see what color Play-Doh we get. Yes, a blue Play-Doh Plus, a pink Play-Doh Plus, a yellow Play-Doh Plus, an orange Play-Doh, and a pink Play-Doh. Let's start assembling our Ferris wheel. We start with the base, and then our Ferris wheel stand, our sprinkle holder, and our sprinkle maker. Here's our Ferris wheel. Here's a little tent slash cookie mold. Here's our extruder holder. It also holds our Ferris wheel together. We put the extruder right inside. Let's start clipping in our cupcake holders. Whee! I just love all the colors it comes in. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite color. Time for the fun part. Let's make some cupcakes. I love all the colors it comes in. Let's make vanilla cupcakes first. Cupcake molds are pretty cool. They have little ridges at the bottom, so they'll look just like a real cupcake. Let's press it all the way down to the bottom so it gets all the details. And then we carefully flip it over. Yes, that looks amazing. A vanilla cupcake. Let's make more. I just love vanilla cupcakes. How many of you guys like vanilla cupcakes? Give this video a thumbs up if you do. Let's make a strawberry one next. I love the way Play-Doh Plus feels. 
Oops, a little too much Play-Doh. But that's okay, we'll just put it back. Yum! A strawberry cupcake! Let's make more! Cupcakes are perfect for birthdays! How many of you guys have birthdays this month? Let me know in the comments when it is, and maybe you'll get a birthday shout-out! Let's make a blueberry cupcake next! Blueberry is one of my favorite flavors! I love blueberry pancakes, blueberry cupcakes, and blueberry muffins! How about you guys? Yes! This one turned out great! Now what's a cupcake without frosting? I'm gonna be using some old Play-Doh I have from a different set. We just roll it up and put it into our extruder. Just like that. Then we grab one of our cupcakes and put it in the holder. And then we press down. Let's see how it turned out. Hmm, not bad, but it's a little lopsided. Good thing we have four more to do. An easier way to do it is to just hold the extruder. Yes, that looks much better. Let's do a strawberry vanilla swirl. We just put it into our extruder, just like this. Ooh, look at the two colors! Yum! Let's do it for this one, too. Let's use blue for this cupcake. Mmm, an all-blue cupcake! Let's use some of these animal molds next. Hmm, which one should we use? I think this bear's pretty cute. Let's take some Play-Doh and press it firmly in there. It's a little awkward since it's on the Ferris wheel, but we'll just take our time. We want to make sure we press it firmly in there so it gets all the bear's cute little features. Oh, how cute does he look? He needs a little dinosaur friend. And remember guys, I'm going to be using some different Play-Doh that doesn't come with the set. And you can too! A oh, little dinosaur! Here's some other ones I've made. Here's an owl. And a giraffe. Look at its tall neck. Here's a blue elephant. And a lion. Rawr. <laughs> Look at this little seahorse. Whoops. Come back here. Another elephant. And a monkey. And the last one is a gingerbread man. I love all the details on him. I think we should make a cookie next. We just roll up some brown Play-Doh and put it into our molds. And then you press down. Yum, a chocolate cookie. It has a little flower on it. Time for the best part, decorating. I think for this cupcake, we'll go with an underwater theme. We'll put our seahorse on first, and then some shells. We'll make a couple shells to surround the bottom. Mm, actually, let's alternate colors. 
I think that'll look pretty cool. I can't believe how many molds this set comes with. Oh, that looks so cute. For this one, let's use an owl. And then we'll use our base molds to give him some candy. Fun fact, did you know owls are nocturnal? That means they hunt during the night and sleep during the day. Pretty cool, right? We'll put the gingerbread man on this one. But he's looking a little lonely. Let's give him a friend. There, now he has a little buddy. Let's use this lion. Rawr! In a giraffe. And for our last one, we'll use this elephant. Let's add some sprinkles as well. We'll take some brown play to make chocolate sprinkles. All we do is spin this down. And there they come. Those are some big looking sprinkles. And there we have it. Our cupcake Ferris wheel is full. Yum, cupcakes all around. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today I'm bringing you Disguise Lab from Despicable Me. If you guys have watched the Monsters Inc. Scare Chair video, it's very similar to that. Here's the back of the box showing all the cool and wacky things we can do with the minions. Let's see what's inside. Here are some scissors. That's a part of the chair. Here's the base of the set. Here are the two minions that we can design today. We get this comb. Here's our chair. The back of the chair also has some molds that we can create. And here's all the Play-Doh that this playset provides. And here's our first minion, the yellow minions that we all love. And here's the purple minion. These ones are the evil ones. We get an orange Play-Doh. A yellow Play-Doh. A blue Play-Doh. and a purple play-doh. Let's start by using the purple play-doh. We'll disguise the evil minion first. But before we can do that, we'll have to set up our disguise lab. Now let's place the evil minion on the chair.
three, two, one, transform! We gave our evil minion long purple hair now! Or we can use our imagination and say that there are a hair full of purple snakes. Now let's use the blue Play-Doh. Now let's disguise our yellow minion. Our yellow minion has long blue hair now! The base of the set also has a lot of molds that we can create to disguise our minions even more. Here's an orange mustache! We'll give it to our yellow minion. We're disguising him pretty well. Here's a yellow tie. We'll put this on the purple minion. His disguise is coming along nicely too. You can also use the scissors to cut their hair. Our purple minion's hair is really funky now. You can also use the yellow comb to change their hair too. This set is great because you could disguise them in so many different ways. I hope you had fun today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Despicable Me, Making Mayhem Playset. We'll be making a bunch of cute and colorful minions today. The back of the box shows what we could do with this playset. Let's open it up! We get some really cool 3D minion molds to work with. Here's the first one. The second one we can make an evil minion. And the third one we can make another good minion with two eyes. Nice! We get some more tools to play with. 